Tahiti. I'm a gardener, I'm a singer. <laughs> I guess I should live in Vienna. <laughs> Welcome to Feminist Reencounters. I'm Frank Boko, a perfumer at Feminish for now 15 years. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Francisco Costa. I've been in the fashion industry for about 20 years. I have just launched a new brand called Costa Brazil. So to be here next to you, it's beyond uh, incredible. I'm, I'm very, very honored. So Francisco, tell me a little bit more about you. I grew up in a very, very small town in the countryside of the state of Minas Gerais in Brazil. You know, this relationship with the fragrance and scent was also very natural. Besides growing up in that environment, I think also fashion for me was really uh, a moment which I started connected with beauty. You know, it wasn't just what you wear, but you know, how you felt. When I grew up, I was also in the countryside. I think that's when I discovered actually that I, I'm interested in smells. Fragrance for me was just very emotional, but knowing there's a science behind. This uh, blend between the uh, craft and, you know, technical skills and imagination. I think the approach that I took with, you know, Costa Brazil was a little bit the same and people didn't quite understand it because I was looking, uh, visiting labs and doing my research and everything felt very conceived already. Organically, there's a similarity in how I went about finding new ingredients. I had to go into the Amazon region just to smell the colors, the sounds, the scents. The last day that I was staying with this indigenous people called the Waiwanawas, I realized that there was something magical in the air, this like scent. I saw that they were tossing some rocks into the fire. I questioned, what is that? And they said to me, this is Breu. What's Breu? Oh, it's a resin. I came to understand that Breu, which is actually Oh, wow. I was this. wondering what that is, yeah. You know, usually you burn very, very little I mean, it's fascinating, no? Fascinating. We have Brio now as part of something that we call the jungle complex. Uh, and the jungle complex is a mix, it's a trifecta of ingredients that's uh, due to Costa Brazil. It's uniquely to us, which is Brio, Kaya, and Kakai. But what I just wanted to touch on is because I, I think that's really an important part in how you got there. It's, it's really the curiosity. And I think the other thing that I noted was that um, the choice of the ingredient, it's so crucial. You know, the industry now talks a lot about the clean fragrance. I'm fascinated by uh, your understanding of the technical aspect and what the molecules really means when you add this diversity with something that's just purely organic. I'm a very big defender of naturals, but I'm an equally big defender of molecules. Uh -huh. actually, Explain know? that and, to us. Uh, in a way, you have always the people that love nature and the ones that are interested in, in new created molecules. A little bit like, uh, you know, synthetic yarns starting to allow fashion designers, you know, to go into certain functional uh, clothing designs that allow us in perfumery to go into territories that are maybe uh, creating different textures. I love that you say the function. Now makes me feel that, okay, it's okay to have synthetic. Function is always to me in design. It's one of the pillars. It's the same way for fragrance. There's a function in fragrance where fragrance can be actually soothing, make you feel good, make you feel comfortable. That's uh, very important. 